These are Canadian literature's uh, glory days, just ask the Nobel Committee, which naturally raises the question of what are the essential texts that a Canadian needs to read to be the perfect Canadian, or at least a better one? There's a lot of themes that uh, Canadian writers, Aboriginal, French, English, immigrant, native-born, uh, keep turning to over and over again. The Great War, for one. A uh, hundred years old, try Joseph Boyd in Three Day Road. Canada on the fringe of great events. We've always felt on the outside looking in. A Colony of Unrequited Dreams by Wayne Johnson carries that message beautifully. Watching ourselves, watching ourselves. Ironic self-consciousness is the Canadian thing. It's tailor-made for short stories and we are awesome at them. Uh, try anything by Alice Munro. Bear Came Over the Mountain, for example. There's the um, outsider's tale, not just the immigrant story, of which is a dominant figure, but also uh, the second generation trying to fit in, trying to crack the magic circle. That's Mordecai Richler, especially Solomon Gursky was here. And there is Canada in the world. We're not always navel-gazing. Uh, astonishingly brilliant postmodern book, uh, The Little Girl Who Was Too Fond of Matches by uh, Gatesy and Susie. And then Margaret Atwood's Handmaid's Tale has reverberated through generations of um, women in the Anglosphere. If you're looking for something that bridges our gaps, hockey is one, the first one that comes to mind. And no one, no one at all has done it better than Ken Dryden in the game.